Hi, I'm Greg Denning. Have you ever had one of those experiences where you have a limiting belief or you have this idea that's kind of small and limited and then, then you have an expansion, you have an experience. You come across something or someone that just kind of snaps you out of it, takes the blinders off and you're like, man, how did I ever think like that? Right, I've had that, I've had that tons of times in my life and maybe you have too. And, and I think that's part of life, isn't it? We, when we're born, we're not born knowing everything and we just start growing and progressing and learning and there's so much to learn. I, I'm a firm believer that we never stop learning, that we should be on this lifelong quest uh, to be learners and to be expanding our reality and, and questioning and improving and growing and helping, you know, fight off ignorance and the things we don't know. And, you know, even, I don't know, simple things, even traveling, right? Traveling does that. As you get out and you go to a new place, you're like, whoa. And, and all the preconceived notions you had, all the things you've heard other people talk about or say, or, you know, these fears you, you dream up and then you get there and you're like, that wasn't even, even close. So I, I coined this term years ago as I was, as I, as I've been traveling around now for, for a lot of years, um, we're in France right now. This is the French Alps. It's kind of raining and snowing behind me. Just spectacular here. Really loving it. And, you know, we've been to all these different countries and different cultures and experiences. And it's really helped me grow and expand and understand new things. And I coined this term, you know, called leaving Smallville. Because I, I, I sincerely believe this, that we are all living below our privileges, below our potential, below our purpose. And though uh, there's a few who are really going after it, and that's fantastic. And if you're doing that, congratulations, keep going. I think most of us are still, you know, keeping a residence in Smallville, where we have small thinking and we live small. And we're living under these limiting beliefs that kind of keep us in cages or boxes or keep us limited. You know what I'm saying? Where it just holds you back. And so I want you to carefully examine what beliefs do you have? What thoughts do you have? What habits do you have that are small, that are keeping you back? That are these little fears, these little doubts that are, you know, kind of confining you or even defining you. Right? And... and that are holding you back from reaching more. What would you do? What, what would you accomplish? What would you try if you knew you couldn't fail? If you had the secrets to success, right? If you, if you knew the way to map out the most epic life you want to live, to become the best person you can, what would you go for? And you start asking that question because it forces you to think, well, what would I do differently? And so let me ask you just a couple of quick questions about what you want to do for work or what you want to do for study, right? Why, why go to a university? Do you have a, is it part of your purpose, part of your life plan, or is it just part of the conditioning? And now, I, you know, I'm a firm believer in a phenomenal education, so get it, but what's the best way to do that? It's not the only way. Why do you work where you work? Why do you live where you live? Why do you do what you do, right? Why do you believe what you believe? And, and I want to challenge you to go through and examine your beliefs. Go through and examine your, your automatic responses, the kind of the default thoughts and habits you have each day. And when you hear something, when you're exposed to something new, a new idea, what is it you think? And ask yourself, is this small? Is this limited? Compare your beliefs, your thoughts, your ideas with the greatest thinkers and philosophers and leaders of all time. Expose yourself to great books and great writings and great speeches and and compare your your philosophy your life philosophy right and your own thoughts and beliefs and say wait am i am i living small am i too confined am i too narrow and let's together let's leave smallville let's get out of there and never go back right and I think even as we're, we're progressing away, we'll find that in some little areas of our lives, maybe our relationships, maybe our, our ideas about money and finances, maybe our ideas about uh, social conditioning and how we're supposed to interact with other people, maybe even our ideas about education or about technology or about the future, about religion. 
Whatever it is, are your ideas small? Are they holding you back? Okay, reach, reach upward. Reach for the very best that's in you. I created a program called Purpose, Potential, and Peak Performance. And it's, it's really to help us become our very best and, and blow past those limits and to leave Smallville and to leave Victimville. Right, to stop playing the victim and get out there and make the most of ourselves. So if you want more about this and about how to make the most of your life, really reach for your potential, visit gregdenning.com and worldschoolacademy.com. Sign up there. I'll send you some great stuff, a real awesome sauce about how to make the most of yourself and your life in a way that maximizes your potential and helps you leave Smallville. Reach upward.